Built in Buffalo, what's going on? It's your boy DM3. I'm going to talk about who I think the Bills should and shouldn't sign at running back in free agency. And I'm going to talk about it right now. A lot of people have been speculating that Certain players are going to be cut. Certain players are going to be cap casualties. It's that time of year. It's the off season. There's teams that are going to be scrambling to try to figure out what their cap is going to look like going into the 2020 NFL season. A lot of people are talking about Arizona Cardinals running back David Johnson. Now, two or three years ago, I would have said if we can get David Johnson on this team, do it. Go ahead and give everything you can to get David Johnson. But if you look at the production over the last couple seasons, it's gone down. Yes, he's battled a few injuries. Um, they also signed Kenyon Drake, who ate up some of his carries. But a lot of people are saying, why wouldn't we take David Johnson? It's a no-brainer. You match him with Devin Singletary, and that is a dynamite backfield. I agree. The problem is his contract is $14 million this season. He has a $14 million cap hit this season. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, if you look at a lot of the trade rumors, the Cardinals are willing to throw in a third round pick and in exchange would just want a fifth rounder from the Bills to eat all that salary cap. And some people still think that's a good idea. I don't because, yes, we have, depending on where you look, between $82 and $84 million roughly right now before we make some cuts, if we make cuts, before we re-sign guys, whatever it is. But you take $14 million invested in a running back that arguably to a lot of people is not going to get more than 50% of the touches at running back because of the progression we want to see with Devin Singletary, right? So $14 million in 2020, $12 million in 2021. So we're talking $26 million. And a lot of people want to talk about our salary cap and how Bean has been able to restructure everything. And we've got a lot of cap going forward and we have the money to pay him and we get a third round pick, but we don't need to take on a $14 million number two, number one, number two slash running back. However, you're going to divvy up the carries because if you bring him in, you might hinder some of Devin Singletary's you know, progression. So one guy I do think that we absolutely should go after is Jordan Howard. You That way you have some more of that money that you can push back into the salary cap and save for future endeavors, such as signing your own, which Brandon Bean wants to do. You know, the guys like Josh, who's going to have a contract coming up. You got Trey's fifth year option they're going to have to deal with. You got Milano, you got Edmonds, you got Poyer, you got to rethink, you got to think about. All these things are coming up. So, something to keep an eye on. Jordan Howard, definitely yes. David Johnson, I would not take that trade at any circumstance right now. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff about David Johnson, so I just want to come on here before it got run into the ground and just give my two cents on it. Again, two things I need you guys to do. Hit that subscribe button. Please press that notification bell if you want. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. We got more content coming out. Built in Buffalo, we are here for you. We are the next best thing. I'm DM3. As always, go Bills, and I'm out.